Hello, this is Trevor. Today we're working on a clickjacking vulnerability in Port Swigger's Web Security Academy. This is the first clickjacking vulnerability. It's a basic clickjacking with CSRF token protection. There's a login functionality and a delete account button that is protected by CSRF. A user will click on elements that display the word click on a decoy website and we need to fool the user into deleting their account. We have an account we can log in as and we need to use Chrome, or at least that's what they're using, so sweet. Please remember to like and subscribe, leave a comment, let me know how I'm doing. Let's take a look and see what we're dealing with. So Wiener, Peter, All right, so it's this button here, and if we inspect, we do see a CSRF um, token there, and protected by, or in the form. And action is my account slash delete. We don't need to know that, actually. All right, uh, let me show you what I've already done. Um, I did create this study sheet, the same that we had in the other ones. Um, it's real basic. There's not a lot to put in here, but we have the basic one, which we're going to work on today. It's just target the website, change the opacity. We have pre-populated fields, frame busting, and we're going to look for opportunities to combine clickjacking with DOM-based XSS. Sweet. Oh, the other thing I did was I created a uh, basic.html file. And this contains uh, the framework or whatever the sample code from the lessons in uh, Bird Suite Labs. Sorry, I'm not being very eloquent today. Okay, so um, in order to get started, let's create a file named Basic CSRF Protected. So I'm gonna do Basic. CSRF protected dot HTML this time because really what I want to do is I want to practice making the HTML page make sure it works locally and then we'll put it into the you know the the exploit we'll post it and write our a script to solve this so I'm gonna copy this as our starting point we know the target website already. That's this. So I'm gonna put that there. DT there. We know that our decoy website needs a button and I can inspect, just copy that from here. Uh, edit as HTML. Well, I think I could have just, whatever, this will work. Copy. I, all right. Delete account. And we want this to say, not delete account, but something with click. We'll do a click me. And we know that because that's what it said in the instructions that um, right here. Okay. Let's work on the CSS. So target website. I This is quite small. I want this to be bigger. Let's do 600 width. Let's do, no. Let's do 800 width and 600 height see how that looks and let's change the opacity right now it is very it's invisible basically let's change this to like eight uh, so 0 0.8 that will make it mostly visible with just a little bit of invisibility uh, and that's gonna help us align everything that we want uh, decoy website position Decoy website 
Uh, let's start with 800 and 600 again. All right. And then we're going to need to position this. Oh, this is the div. Sorry. So we can... Uh, let's put that back. All right. Okay. So the div's going to be 300, 400. And we should be able to either position the button or the div correctly. You know what? We can... Well, whatever. This should at least give us something. So now we need to open this. Let me go here and go file. I want this one. Yeah, that looks good. So I want to position this button right here. Um. But why is this? This should be. See how this is highlighting? I think we've got our Z orders wrong. Z index target website. No, I'm right. That is correct. Sorry, I'm confusing myself. We want the target website to be over top of the decoy website so that when we make this invisible people think they're clicking on the decoy website but they're actually clicking on the target website all right so we need to move this button we're going to move it uh there and there so how we're going to do that is we're going to do top let's do it like i don't know 250 and a left. Um, I don't know, 150. And I need to change this semicolon. Let's take a look at that. No, okay, so too far to the right and not nearly enough down. So we'll double the down by 100 and change this to like 80. Oh, that's getting better. We'll move it just a little bit to the left and a little bit up and call that good. 70, I don't know, eight, 77. Let's do 77 and a little bit up so we'll do 495. Yep, that should hit it. What we want is to make sure that the button that the user sees is totally covered by the button that they'll click. And what we have should work fine. Let's change this opacity now to zero and check it out. Boom. So all we see is the click me and not the website below. That is perfect. So this will be our payload. Uh, let's copy it. Well, let's make a basic CSRF protected um, dot pi file and we need oh you know I haven't even done this yet so I'm gonna do ln dash s this utils there perfect clickjacking utils template copy this paste it there we can now close this one we can close this one. And what we need is to submit. We need a payload defined payload equals boom. And then we need to blog dot post exploit. I think that's what it's called. Whoops. 
Um, it's in sight, post exploit, and it'll be the response body. Post exploit response body equals payload. That should be good. And then we'll do blog dot is solved. For payload, I'm gonna triple quote this and I'm going to take everything here and paste it. I do want to do an F string for the target website account or the URL. So I'm gonna do F here. That means that things like this, I need to double. And I don't see any more. Now, here's where I want a blog dot base URL to there. Okay. Well, I think that is it. Let's uh, give that a shot. So Python basic CSRF protected and we will get this. See how it goes. Yeah, right on. All right, uh, so that was it. So. Just to recap, we created this website uh, and th that our website was basically and included an iframe of our clickjacking target, which was the My Account page and specifically the Delete Account button on that page. So we I put the iframe of that page in our, in our page. <laughs> And then in our page, we created a button um, named click me in a div. In the div, we uh, use CSS to move it into position. Once we had it all set up, we changed the opacity of the iframe to basically zero. So it was basically invisible. Um, we had it high just to make sure we had everything lined up. And then we made it basically invisible. Once we were finished there, once we had all of this done, we posted it as the body into the post exploit so that the victim was served it, saw the button with the click me in the name, supposedly clicked it and deleted their own account. That was it. All right, very cool. So our first click jacking is done. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much. Goodbye.